be talking about a, t a topic that is very near and dear to my heart, the hidden side of teenage relationships. She got home from the hospital at 13 years old, and a family friend turned to her and asked, what would make you want to take your own life? You always had this big smile when I saw you. Little did he know what was behind that smile. Since the age of 13 years old, I have made it my mission to learn everyone, everything about domestic violence in teenagers and teach others as well by, from, by learning personal experiences and research of my own. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about three things. The truths and signs of abuse in teenage relationships. How you can educate yourself and others and spot the signs. And finally, what will happen if you don't take a stand with me? Now, let me tell you about abusive relationships and the effect on the victims. Abusive relationships don't just occur among adults. In fact, abuse can begin as young as the age of 12. The CDC reported in 2013 that 1.5 million teenagers in the United States will experience domestic violence. Now, what can you do to see the signs of someone who will be abusive? They will tease you maliciously to take away your self-esteem and make you feel worthless. That, can that will begin controlling you, all of your actions, from what you wear, who you talk to, even what movies you watch. That can escalate to physical and sexual assault. How can you tell if someone's a victim? Well, they'll disappear. They'll start isolating themselves from you. Even when they are with you, they'll be on their phone or their significant other will be with them. And finally, they will always apologize for things that don't seem that important, and they will be a people pleaser. My personal story was that I was in an abusive relationship. And I told you already the warning signs of someone who may be, how young a relationship can start. But I forgot to tell you what can happen to a victim after. They are more victims of abuse. Abusive relationships are more likely to develop eating disorders, substance abuse, and further domestic violent relationships. Before my current relationship, where I'm treated with nothing but love and respect, I suffered two more after the first. Now, what can you do to help? You can notice the signs. You can tell if someone's in a relationship. They may be resistant, but they know that you care, and eventually that will help them. They are hotlines. The Center for Hope and Safety of Bergen County has a 24-hour hotline. Loveisrespect.org not only has a hotline, but you can text them or you can chat online. Now, there are also legal options. You can file restraining orders, orders of protection. You can file assault charges, battery, rape, and sexual assault. But unfortunately, a lot of district attorneys don't like taking on rape cases for lack of evidence and not too much of an ability to win. This is why we need to stand up. Now, what will happen if we don't take a stand together? 81% of parents don't believe that domestic abuse in a relationship is a problem. But of that 81%, 82% thinks that they would know, while only 58% was able to tell the signs. People would continue to blame the victim. Why didn't you stop them? Why didn't you leave? What were you wearing? Why didn't you just tell them no? Did they hear you? These are all too common questions. And this is what leads only 33% of that 1.5 million I told you before, to come forward about the abuse. Everyone's ashamed and they hide, afraid of the consequences. 33% of 1.5 million. 
will tell you. 67 won't. So, today, I told you about abusive relationships, how young they can start, what, can, what harm can be caused. But I told you how you can help, how you can call a hotline, you can spot the signs, you can tell them that you care. And I reminded you of what will happen if we don't end this epidemic of one in three teenagers in an abusive relationship. I am personally working with local government and boards of education to implement a program in all schools to teach those about abusive relationships so that slowly this epidemic will end. At 13 years old, I met a boy who treated me like a princess. Two months later, everything changed. Within six months, a knife had been held to my throat and told if I left, he would kill me, my family, and then, myself, and then himself. If it wasn't for the love and strength of my parents, I would still be in that relationship or I might even be dead. So together, let's take a stand and end domestic violence. Thank you.